It was the early hours after the day after election and the results on the News24 website kept changing. Um, the municipality went from blue to yellow to blue to yellow to grey as the results started to, to finalise for the election of the Umgeni local municipality. We had been campaigning for, for years. It was an 18 year long journey to win our municipality. And we had promised the voters that it was just 9% more. 9% difference between winning and between having five more years of the government that had destroyed our communities. And as the results came in and the News24 map changed and the numbers continued to change, the reality started to set in that that 9% was incredibly realistic and that we might govern outright in the Umgeni municipality. And as the IEC called the results, the gravity of being in government had now set in. And myself and the other 12 members of the DA caucus were now in government. And the IEC declared that the DA had run its first municipality outright in the province of KwaZulu-Natal. And a lot of boundaries and a lot of ceilings were shattered that day. First, that the DA could never govern in KwaZulu-Natal, the province known to be ANC and, and IFP. The second was that a young white male in a municipality where 75% of the voters are black South Africans could win outright, smashing the barriers of, of race and identity politics. And importantly, that a young person could lead a municipality in an environment where that is dominated by people who are much, much older and claim to have some sort of command or authority over leadership uh, and development in our country. But what all of this really meant was that the dream that we sold people to get them to believe in, in hope was, was something tangible, that hope overcame fear, hope overcame anger and, and hopelessness and an inability to see something positive in the future. And the people of Umgeni came out in their numbers to, to vote based on hope, a hope that we could change the lived situation of people through the democratic processes. And they did so by 42 votes. 42 votes was the difference between a government that was run by the ANC and a government that was run by the DA. 42 people stood in a line until midnight and voted for change. The slimmest margin ever that a municipality in our country has been won. And that same reality can happen in the 2024 national and provincial elections, where just 42 people can be the difference between hope and hopelessness. 42 people can mean the difference between power and powerlessness. And that's up to every single one of us to just like the people of Mgeni, bring hope, hope through the democratic processes and hope through believing that there is a better future rather than more despair. But it requires an understanding that you have to be an active participant in democracy and that you cannot outsource your responsibility. You cannot swipe your credit card or mail uh, the responsibility away. You cannot email um, an angry letter and expect that that will bring about change. There's an active participation that is required. And like in Umgeni, where 42 people stood against the IEC and stood in those lines despite the system failures and uh, the issues that they brought up, if every single one of us take on that responsibility to say, my voice counts, my vote matters, and I will be heard, then we can bring about a real difference in the way that our country and our communities are running.